In this demo, I'm going to show you how to add a health check to your deployment. In your deployments folder, you will find hello world healthcheck.yaml. This is our deployment object. Still has the Kubernetes demo as a container, but here we add the liveness probe. And this liveness probe is going to check slash on the Node.js port, which is port 3000. And it will wait 15 seconds before doing the first check. And we have a timeout of 30 seconds. We can just do kubectl create. And then using kubectl get deployments or get pods, we can get the status of one pod. Describe pod. And in the details, we see there is a liveness HTTP get on this Node.js port with a delay of 15 seconds, a timeout of 30 seconds. With a delay between the checks of 10 seconds, the pot will consider it healthy when there's one success or unhealthy when there's three failures. So then we have three pots running on our node. And if one of those pots gives an error, so at that point, the container is still running. This container is still running. Node.js is still running, but for some reason, our app crashed, doesn't work anymore. Doesn't give an HTTP 200 code anymore, which is the normal code. But for instance, code 500, which shows that there is something wrong. Then what Kubernetes will do is it will terminate the pod and launch a new pod. And this is very important because if the pod is not working anymore and you route traffic to it, then the end user might get an error while there are still other pods that might be healthy. So what you want is that you don't route traffic at all to pods that are not healthy. And that's why we have this health check. So this health check is very useful and you should always include it if you're deploying applications in production. If you want to edit any settings right now of this deployment, you can use kubectl edit. And here you see the settings that you can change. So this is a useful trick to also see what settings are available, like the timeout, like the period, the success threshold, and the failure threshold. So these you can either edit right here or include them in the YAML file if you would want to change them. Otherwise, the default values will be used.